What? Are you expecting? Oh, yeah. I, can, I just feel like I'm not achieving anything. I don't reckon he's had a shit today. Mate, I, I've drank fucking 10 litres of water and I feel like it's gone straight to my guts. Where it's else is it going to go? Why would it be the water? The, like, drinking water's good for you. Yeah, I know, but why does it make you feel bloated? Feeling bloated and actually putting on weight are two different things. Is it turned on, Mitchell? No. Nah, I'm going to have a look. Oh, Kelly Smith is in first in the chat. Says, love you, angry dad. Hi, Kelly. At the moment, I'm really... Jaden Pooley, what's going on? Carrie Ann, Linda Dalipure. Do the binge. Dad, you got to do that binge challenge, actually. You can do it. Man, I've got nothing that'll fucking fit me. My own clothes don't fit me. So what else am I going to fucking wear? Show us what you were just showing us. What? Hey, off the Holy, look at his tits. They are perfectly round. Hey, you've got little perky tits. Mate, I'm telling you, something's not fucking wrong. Have you got really high levels of estrogen or something? I don't know. But seriously, I'm going in for a fucking boob job the other way around. You know, it looks like you've got double D's set on. You could probably book in for a vagina rejuvenation while you're at it. Oh, Dylan, you should have been a fucking comedian. You know that? Being honest. Wow. Uh, can you go back up and show us your guts, though? That time, that was your tits. I want to see your guts. No, I'm not. Tuck your T-shirt in. What? Tuck your T-shirt in and do it. Dylan, shut your mouth. Now, actually, I actually had a couple of people. Well, I, need, I don't know if she's on yet, though. Is she on? How, would I, how do you tell if she's on or not? Who? Amelia Nowak. She actually uh, messaged me on Instagram and said she was going to come on. And where is she? Chuck her a follow. Amelia Nowak. Is Nowak? She, how do you tell? I'll tell you who does love a whack. You can see her name. Don't be so mean. There you go. Exactly. I know who does love a whack. Not <laughs> love the whack. And that's angry dad. Where the fuck did you get that? <laughs> oh my god, you had a million no whack over that one, didn't you? Angry Dad, no whack, and Angry Dad having no a whack. Mate, that is fucking 10 years old. Well, it's gone back, back in the archives, and I'm sure it'll come out later on. Yeah, he, seriously. Look at Dylan. He thinks he's. Look at it. What the fuck is wrong with you, Dylan? <laughs> What? Are you? I know you're an ugly prick, but you don't have to hide your face. Oh, fucking oh, hell. The odds we've got a million no whack and Mark loves a whack. All of <laughs> Mitchell, and when I see you, you're gonna get a fucking whack. <laughs> oh, fucking hell! Isolation's getting the better of you, is it? It is. It's actually just about done me this week, to be honest. I'm sick to death of this fucking study. I can tell you right now. No, I've actually tested me massively this week too. I'm sorry. I can tell you now. I can tell you now. The only thing that's got me through this week is watching the um the the, the next two episodes of Jordan's uh fucking doco. I reckon, I reckon I know what's got you through this week. <laughs> and it is you born. Sharon. <laughs> 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 Fucking old chubby George Clooney, someone reckons. Should I zoom out of the photo a bit on the right? Mitchell. <laughs> what was your go to? BBW? All right, should I hide it for a bit? Mitchell, just seriously, are you going to fucking talk sense or not? I mean, what's the fucking point? I thought you were ringing to see how I'm fucking going, not to have you on me. <laughs> Can you just talk to me about what's happening towards. Who, you know, feeling a bit toey, getting on the iPad? Who thinks of just getting Snapchat out on the home screen and just convincing all of their friends and family to then have a whack? Well, clearly that was sent to you or Dylan 10 fucking years ago when I was pissed yeah. at or something. Was it 10 years ago? Well, it fucking was because have a little colour of me fucking Yogi Bear. <laughs> what happened yesterday, mate? Oh, fuck. Someone's just asked Dad for your tip this week, so you better got one for us. Uh, he just, I just messaged him and he said he hasn't done them yet, so. Ooh. Maybe uh, that's put, that's your, put on your Instagram or something and then they can all go there and look. 
<laughs> fucking. Um, no, no, he hasn't. So anyway, that's Mitch. Yeah. If you were a jockey, right? Yeah. Hundred meters to go in the race, and you're behind by half a head. Yeah. Got a whip in your hand. What are you going to do to the horse? Whip it. Give it a whack. Oh, speaking of a whack, <laughs> loves a whack. And he goes by Mark Orhill, aka known as Angus. No, no, there's, there's Amelia there. Amelia No Whack. There she's on. There you go. Uh, no Whack. Everyone wants to know what your favorite category is, Dad. What? Everyone wants to know what your favorite category is. Category? Yeah. Is it BBW? What the fuck is BBW? <laughs> Big busty women. You're actually sick. Hey, Dad. That's what happened to me yesterday. Oh, let me tell you. You tell me. You caught a fucking fish. No. I received a parcel in the mail. And guess what it was? Oh, you tell me. What was it? A pad and a tampon. Are you serious? I swear to God. Well, I've, suck you. I've had three this week. I think the bandit is interstate as well. He has no limits. Well, I, I, I got three this week, and two of them were high-level, beautifully packaged fucking boxes of pads and tampons. So I just gave them to fucking Hannah. <laughs> My, like, they were from Harold's or something. They were the most, like, prestige-looking pads and tampons. I was about to fucking sell them. Well, I can tell you now, that's the <laughs> same box <laughs> that I got. I'll tell you what it is because I messaged him and told him to give me the details of the fucking prick that did it. Oh, and how's it been going for you since you did that? I'll tell you what it is. Hang on, because I messaged them. Dad, what is your Snapchat? Do you still have Snapchat? I haven't had Snapchat for fucking 10 years, dickhead. Oh, right. Snapchat's for all time. Mitchell, I'll tell you what it is and tell me if it's the same. Junie. Wait, Ben Hutchings, tell us the story again about Angry Dad bringing home girls' undies in his luggage again. I can't even remember that. No, remember you... You put them in there. I actually can't remember that. No, the girls I the mate, they, they don't wear them. The ones I meet in the state. Yeah, the oh. BBWs. <laughs> I know what you do. It was called cool. Judy. J U N N I is who sent the really posh package. Judy. Anyway, Hannah's got them. Show us them. The package, so you'll know what it is. No, it's the box is in the bin, and Hannah's got them in the fucking drawer. <laughs> All right, chat. What's going on? Um, Mitch, Dylan, are you going to prank Mark more? Well, we're going to off over there in Melbourne. Someone just said you guys need to go on Travel Guys or Gogglebox. I'd actually genuinely love to do Gogglebox. You reckon? Yeah. I'd love to do Gogglebox. No, nah, there's no way you could not film me watching TV, as you know. You'd need a massive filter, a lot of editing. Do you know why you couldn't film Dad watching TV? Because oh, he yeah, here what? All he wants was ears. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't want to goggle box that. I'm going to wake my fucking baby up. Oh, oh my God. You like that face? Mitchell, yeah. You know what? I hope you catch a shark in the fucking eat you. I hope you catch a shark too. <laughs> hey, Dylan, I was going to ask you, have you seen the Jordan thing? No, uh, I've only watched the first episode and a half maybe. So what you, okay, so what's your take on that Jerry Krause? An episode in, it's reeking of a lot of jealousy. Huh? Reeking of a lot of jealousy one episode in, but I haven't oh, seen he's it. jealous? Do you think he's a prick or he's oh, – you, you've only watched an episode. It's a bit hard. Mm, fuck, close away. Give me two seconds. Ooh. Crystal's in the bar. She's in the bar. Give me two oh, seconds. Ask me to look. I'm taking with you. <laughs> uh, uh, let's have a look at the chat. What's going on in here? He looks like um, – oh, moving too quick. Uh, I can't. TV remote was first prank. Yeah. I actually can't even keep up. That's what Chloe said. No, she can keep up. I can't keep up. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> Mitchell, you're a seriously a dickhead. Chris Bork, I've been a big fan of you guys since you first started. Keep up the good work, Pink and Angular. Thanks, Chris. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, one episode in, I think. Where is he? What? Where is he? Who? Bro, what did you just. He chucked him in the bath with Crystal. Asleep, but he just woke up crying, so he's back to sleep. <laughs> How'd you put him back to sleep so quick? No, Crystal just got out of the bath. She's in there now. Oh, what is that fucking chloroform or whatever it is? <laughs> um, dip of whiskey. No, he, yeah, I don't know. He he obviously was pretty good at what he did to pull together that fucking team, but he just seems like he was not handling being the reason they were so good. It's interesting. I mean, again, everyone's thoughts are very, very different because he had a job to do and he was prepared to fucking rub people up the wrong way to get the job. Look at look what he did with Pippin. That's the whole thing in terms of the deal. Contract, yeah. Fucking saved them a lot of money. What, you yeah, what, what what he got them for Pippin for what six or seven years? Jordan, was, man. yeah, Jordan was getting fucking a season next year. You got, right. It's just unbelievable. It's, it's the best offer I've seen for the fucking so long. So what are you up to though? I, I, well, they've only had four, and I've watched them. There's eight out. I've got well, I've got the other four on computer, but I'm not watching them. I want to watch them on the TV. How did you get them on computer? Someone sent them to me. Episodes three to eight. I got them last week. What are you actually talking about? Did Michael Jordan? Oh, you didn't know Rex. Mitchell's been watching I Fish with Paul Wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew Eddinghauser. Mitchell's fishing with ET. Fucking you wait. The video's going up tonight. Mate, you know who I'd love to go fishing with? And it's my fucking absolute bucket list. Who? The, um, the, Wrangler, the Wrangler guy. Right. What's your name? Matt Wright. Matt Wright. Oh, yeah, the Outback Wrangler. Yeah. Up, up in the uh, uh, fishing. That was up. What? When you're right there, though, you know there's no phone or you can't have Wi-Fi or anything. Well, that's going to fuck you up more than me. Uh, How are you going to support going. <laughs> uh, 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 Seriously. Fish tacos? Hey, Mitchell, have you watched um, Out of Banks? No. Shit ass. Putrid. You're an idiot. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, it is the worst fucking acting I've ever seen. I've actually crossed back to watch Humphrey Bear Bear High School and watch that shit. <laughs> I reckon it's unreal. What is it? Out of Banks. It's a Netflix TV show. Don't even waste your time. Mitchell, you love it. it. Video, Mitch. You'll love it. Dad's too old for that shit. Dylan, the acting is putrid. No, it's not. It's not that bad. It's probably not the greatest, but it's not that bad. Well, there you fucking go. You've, you actually it's not been the greatest. Bad. It's not the greatest. I've seen worse. Have you watched? Okay, have you watched Shooter, the TV show? I think yeah. so. I'm you know the movie with Mark Wahlberg, the sniper. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I have. You watched the TV show version on Netflix? No. He'd be one of the worst actors I've ever seen in my life. No, I haven't seen it. Fucking putrid. Wait, hey, Dill. Out of Banks was amazing. Dill. Out of Banks is awesome. You're a fucking really? Idiot. Yeah. Dill. Should I tell him what? Should I tell uh, the chat? The story I heard on the radio about the guy who got his uh, his peas test. <laughs> yeah, it's doing that's it's good. Good. Yeah, it is. I, I, I never listened to the radio. Ever. <laughs> and I had to have the radio on anyway, and I thought it was strange because a kid, uh, some young kid, called up the radio and he, he finally got through and he said, "I I just think this is a perfect story to tell on the radio." And the guys were like, "All right, well you're already on here, so go for it." Anyway, he goes. So I uh, went to get my um, my driving test. You know, I've had my owls for two years. So got got the uh, driving test and my instructor was Indian. He was in the front seat and I, I got in anyway. He said, hello, sir, today, you know, you did your test. Before you start, I just want to check a few things. Is that okay with you? He said, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> he said, okay, can you please show me the left indicator? <laughs> yep, he goes, right indicator. So, yep. Oh, so he goes, okay, ready, mister? He goes, yep, ready. So, no, ready, mister? Yeah, ready. Read the mister. <laughs> <laughs> Read the mister. I almost, I almost crashed. I almost passed out then. <laughs> uh, do you want to hear... Oh, mate, honestly, my driving test, right? Do you need to remember the story about what happened in my driving test? No, but I remember the test about a week after and I found you out the front of the footy over wrapped around a fucking pole. 
That was actually after you'd already come home with the front ripped off your car and you reckon some other prick did it. Same thing. We're outside the car doing the indicators, the brakes and that. Or he's outside watching it. And he gets in the car and he's like, we're about to leave. And he goes, hang on. Here. And I looked at him and he didn't realise, but he had a fucking golly come out of his nose about three inches long. And he just wiped like that and it went across his face. And oh. the whole thing I'm driving, all I'm looking at is this big bit of green snot from his nostril up to his eye. And every time I went to do my fucking head check, that's all I could look at. And I just really wanted to vomit the whole way. I would have killed him. In, in an actual driving test. The driving test to get married. No. Oh, the actual test. You mm. never ever said that. So I reckon that's a fucking lie. I swear on Bo's life. That that was no bullshit. And that was the actual test. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I definitely told you. It was the first thing I fucking said when I got out of the car. So you your test because fucking hell, I'll have four, four of my teeth in your car, your very first car. Yeah, well, you should have worn your fucking seatbelt. He had his seatbelt on. No, he had no, it down no. in front of him. Hardly. Oh, so he said. I mean, he tells me a lot you never know if it's the truth or not. <laughs> Probably. Exactly. What were you doing at home while I was doing my driving test, Dad? I think I know. What? Oh, I remember what that. While I was doing my driving test. Dad was upstairs with his iPad. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much 10 years ago, so every chance. Hi, Linda Rock. Linda Rock spamming the chat telling us to say hello. So hello, Linda Rock. Any relation to Dwayne? Who? Dwayne? Oh, you're an idiot. What are you uh, been watching then? If you're not watching Out of Banks and you're not watching the Michael Jordan documentary. I just started Ozark last night with Chloe. You just started that. You're a bit late. A bit late. Do you like it? First season's actually pretty slow, even maybe a bit beyond that, but it gets... You do realise with Netflix you can start whenever you want. There's no early or late. Like, you can start from season one. Yeah, but the fact all you do is sit on the fucking couch every day, I would have thought you'd well and truly gone through Ozark by now. Yeah, and if we, if we were this late watching a TV show, you'd fucking shred us. Yeah, well, I've been fishing, so. Of course, yeah. You've been doing three days and you're an expert. Did you catch anything? Huh? I can't reveal that yet. Why? It's not been revealed whether I caught anything yet today. Hey, and you said you caught a flathead, a big flathead today. Fucking dog, you leaked it. <laughs> oh, you freak. Did you? Yeah, and something else he said. <laughs> Is this true or not? It may have been a yellow fish curry. <laughs> I, hope you, I, I hope you haven't cooked it and you spew all night. Mitchell, I got another photo for you for next week. Now you, I'll give you half of that bullshit. Oh, yeah, good. True that. Oh, someone's saying a big three metre. How big was a flatty if you caught a flatty? Yeah, I, I actually never understood that, but I had a look at him today. There's a guy called William Powerfish. I've never seen yeah. him. You never seen Willem? I've seen him. I watched him today. I fucking pissed myself. One metre flatty, mate. Yeah, he's good. I, 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 three metre uh, flatty. Jeremy Cameron from GWS is the biggest flatty I've ever seen. He's the biggest flatty or he caught the biggest he flatty? He caught the biggest Flatty, I have ever seen. How big was it? Oh, I don't know the exact dimensions, but it was fucking massive. I don't know the exact dimensions. What are you doing, Dad? Are you writing in your journal or something? No, no, no. Someone just messaged me. Dear diary, today my sons picked on me. They uploaded a photo that I thought was a secret for ten years. <laughs> what was it? Kick it. Oh man, the big lizard. Yeah. But the, the chat, I can't believe it. Like the chat, everyone, like everyone knows exactly who that powerfish guy was. I, I didn't know he was that big. Has he honestly never seen him before? I promise it was the first time I watched him today because everyone kept commenting different I reckon stuff. I was watching him over a year ago, at least over a year ago. Mitchell, can you say, hey, Sky? You're fucking blind. It's dark. I can't see. <laughs> oh, Dad, someone sent you a private message today. I reckon you didn't reply to him. Oh, Mitchell, actually, that's a good point. What's going on with your eyes? They're as fucking dark as hell. Mitchell's? Yeah. Oh, isn't it cute, the little games they play now? And he's... Yeah, he didn't know that they were going to 
It was a tint and you didn't know what he reckons. She does a thing called beauty. No, whatever she films on her Instagram, and I just let her do whatever, and I'll see what it looks like at the end. But little did I know that this is about a one month stay on. You'd be singing in fucking the band Queen next. And, and who do you who do you look like, Adam Levine? I look like Adam Lambert. <laughs> Levine, yeah. Dad, any tips? People keep asking. Where's the tip? Uh, he hasn't. He hasn't. He said he's playing fucking online poker or something. Train wants to see your dick. That's a little weird. <laughs> He's on a live poker game, he said. What are you having for dinner tonight, Dad? It's curry sausages. Really? Yum. Yum. I love Mum's curry. I can't wait to have one of Mum's home-cooked meals again. Yum. I don't know what I'm going to have. I'm so fucking hungry, though. We just got the best fucking box of fruit and veggies and shit delivered. Not as good as the one 10 years ago that you found on... <laughs> You bought. <laughs> uh, what's his favourite box of fruit? <laughs> How's the size of the eggplant on the screen too? Jesus Christ! Oh, Mitchell, seriously, you this is fucking. <laughs> Can we actually get a bit of an idea in the comments? If Dad started an OnlyFans page, who would subscribe? All right. <laughs> Spam the chat with the cute the eggplant emoji. Spam the chat with the eggplant emoji. You want to see Dad do an OnlyFans account? No, oh, I've been to New Zealand heaps of times, mate. I love New Zealand. I love it. What? What? Someone said, "Have you been to fucking New Zealand, you dickhead?" <laughs> Just started talking to you, sir. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Paul Nolan needs to go and see a fucking doctor. Who? <laughs> oh, we've got a few eggplants in the chat. Oh, Angus has got one. Ryan Walker. <laughs> Dad, you need to start an OnlyFans account now for sure. Katie Walker. What's OnlyFans? I was Mitchell, explain it. Oh, the eggplants are coming through, Dad. <laughs> Mitchell, explain to him what it is. What is it? Do uh, you know what Jackson O'Doherty's been doing? No. Nah. So it's like an only you subs, you pay to subscribe and you can basically post R eighteen plus content. So really, if you wanted to, that see that you holding your iPad, get onto you porn. You could just do exactly that, but say get onto my porn, and it will be your account with your own dick. Oh, that'd be a great way to fucking scare the shit out of everyone, wouldn't it? And you, what do you, what do you get? It's like I think that people pay like fifteen bucks a month to subscribe. Ah, oh, bullshit. You do. So you could just start. What? Okay, okay, so what stops people from screenshotting, recording, and all that shit? Nothing. Trent Partridge goes, fuck your wife online, mate. <laughs> Sharon? <laughs> She'll go fucking nuts if she saw that. Oh, fuck you. Call it angry porn. Oliver. Angry Dad, guess you have an eggplant for dinner, you bad man. <laughs> so hang on. So, so hang on. What are you saying? The people then pay to watch that. It, it's like Instagram, but it's like having your Instagram on private, except you can post R18, whatever you want. You could be more oh. nudes, whatever. And people pay 15 bucks a month to be subscribed to it, and so you let them on there. That's how fucking sick people are. Well, Dad, I reckon it's going to have to happen. You're going to have to do... An angry vet, uh, an OnlyFans account. We can call it Angry Fans, and maybe oh, yeah. beat off in the corner angrily or something. Mitchell, you can even post a selfie on the toilet. True, that can be the DV. Disgusting. Oh, someone wants Mitch to do one. Ah, uh, him and Chloe. There you go. That'll be the next vlog. Where'd that go? If you want Matthew, me, Matthew okay. Yella. So you must want to see a bit of Chloe because he goes, "I want Mitch to do one." If you want me and Chloe to film, uh, to do an OnlyFans account, spam the chat with a pin emoji. The what? The pin emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia! Amelia, I can see that comment. Fucking do it, angry porn. Lol. Angry porn for Dad. Dad, we're getting a lot of eggplants here. You're going to have to start one up and split the profit with us. You wouldn't shout for a fucking shark picture, mate. Wimbley Manifold, a family porn site. Wouldn't that be just... Oh, I've always hey, seen... 
Sammy well, Simmons. Hey, brother, how no, are you? So Mitchell, you're saying that Jackson O'Doherty is doing that? Yeah, he is. He's got hey, a, He's I'm got. Hey, do you remember Sam Siggins? From Dylan, what are you fucking interrupt the chat for? Because I'm saying hi to someone who said hi to me. Oh, sorry. Okay. Mitch, what did you say? Um, I was saying. Oh no, I don't know. I forget. I said, is he, is he seriously doing that? Jackson O'Dowd, he's got 83,000 people paying $10 US a month. Lazy 1.25 mil. Oh, bullshit, Mitchell. A month. Well, he has, he put like, he films pretty full on shit. I, I, um, I've seen some of the stuff on it and it's pretty full on. Like, you wouldn't, like, you you what my do it, Dad? You, you'd like it, Dad. It's very similar to the stuff that you watch on. Very similar to this sort of stuff that you always put up on your Snapchat. <laughs> Luke Irwin has one as well, apparently. Who's Luke Irwin? Daniel Rowe, gay cunts. Righto, mate. Go on. See you, Daniel Rowe. Um, yeah, make one, Dad. Oh, yeah, no worries. Why not? What you know? It just amazes me that someone comes on and says that in this day and age. Fuck off and don't come on here, dead shit, and then start fucking slagging people. <laughs> We'd not the fuck out of you anyway. You fucking dickhead. <laughs> Seriously, like, what do people fucking get about that shit? <laughs> oh, oh, you're a rat. Oh, but what, what, what about it? <laughs> Someone just said, call it angry anal dad porn. <laughs> what is he that? Huh? What a noise about it. Uh, There's just fucking people that have got nothing better to do with their fucking time than be fucking negative and abuse people and then bring fucking gay into it. You just said you just said, he's got a fucking bloke to do it, cockhead. You know, he just said he wouldn't beat you up. He just goes, yep, I would. Uh, of course he would, because he's hiding behind a fucking keyboard now. Fuck off. <laughs> Seriously, I just, why do you bother? Seriously. Oh, who knows, man? Who knows? Oh, my God. Honestly, he's probably, he's probably 11 years old on a fake account. You wouldn't even know. That's how fucked this world is. I just, I just don't fucking get it, negative fuckwits. <laughs> Oh, I'm laughing. It's not funny, but it is. You're making it's not it. funny. No, it's funny what you're, how you're going about it. It's funny, but no, it's not. Of course, negative people aren't funny. Not at all. It's true. No. Have you ever gone on someone's post or someone's live or someone's anything and just commented something negative? Have you ever done that in your Never. life? Never. Never, not once. Unless, unless they've actually said something to me first and then I'll fucking ripped into them. <laughs> But I mean, like, when have you ever just seen something? Even if someone uploaded a photo of something I didn't agree with, I would never comment about it. Never. That's fucking And insane. if I didn't believe or agree or I hated them or what they said, I would keep my opinion to my fucking self. Correct. Yeah. Unless, you, unless you're debating fact and you're not being just a dickhead posting fucking politically incorrect shit for no reason. No, but even then, like, there's a way to fucking do it, isn't there? Right. That's what I'm saying. I don't like you, you homosexuals. <laughs> At least that's acceptable. <laughs> Fair, okay. I actually went on. Someone messaged me today, and I went on that stupid fucking Zoom and talked to these people from Swan Hill for ten minutes. I don't even know them. But you're saying that was a positive thing? Just out of the goodness of my fucking heart. Yeah. But if he called you a gay, can't you have got on and talk, spoken to him? No, no, no. Because you know what? There's not many people that do that, and they stand out like the fucking nose on your fucking face because that's how much a uh, fucking dickhead. Uh, Hmm. No, bullshit. Oh, shit. Mind oh. you, I feel like I feel like M MJ, MJ Angus, I reckon MJ. What was that? The goat? LeBron or MJ. Alright, wait, can we just can we just speak like chat? Now you know why it was so easy to prank him. That was one comment in the chat and that's how fired up and passionate he got. So can you just imagine when you nail him on the scone with an egg, how <laughs> angry you get and why it's so easy? I don't suffer fucking fools, as you know. No, no. And you two are fools. We're pretty good though. We don't get we don't get much. Like seriously, out of how many comments on there right now, we've had one absolute fuckwit. That's no, it. You know what? At the end of the day, people can be respectful. They can watch and listen and fucking tune in, or they can fuck off if they're going to be assholes. And most yeah. people are nice people. 
Yeah. And there's always some fucking smart ass. <laughs> well, to the 99% of you nice people, I'm glad you've enjoyed it and had a great day. To you, Daniel Rowe, sit on it and twist. Is that what his name was? I forget. I think so. I don't know. He's in his room on his own with no fucking mates. Hmm. All right. Yeah, the truth. Well, guys, what did we learn today? I don't know, but Dylan, I was hoping to see Bo, and he's a fucking sleep. He was down at 5.30 tonight because he was up at 6 and didn't – he normally goes back down straight away. What about Wiggles reposting Bo on the oh, on their page yeah. last night? Yeah. Hey, what? You're dressed. Are you having another dinner? What? I didn't like her fish curry. He had um, – his little Wiggles car come today as well. These little stand-up ones because he's starting to walk behind it. Oh, he'd be stoked. Oh, man. It's, well, it's, just, it's just about as fun as his fucking day gets in isolation because we can't go anywhere. Uh, it's, that was so cute when they reposted that. Mum nearly fucking jumped off the chair when she saw it. Yeah, that'd be a good one to show at his fucking 21st. If, we fucking, if we're allowed out of, out of our house by then. Oh, well, we won't be in, term, in time for Hannah, so that's good. That saves me about well, five grand. At this rate, we're going to miss his first birthday as well. Yeah, I know. I know. Or well, even if we don't, I'm not going to have much time to organise anything because, I don't know, like, fuck, I want to put some effort into it. Theo said, what? amazed that you two, you have two, you still have two sons. I would have killed the cunts if they did that to me. <laughs> yeah, and I actually, I, I did a um, thing yesterday with this guy and he said to me, why haven't you... Oh, there's another one. Andrew Summers, I'll fight you, Angry Dad, you weak cunt. I'm 54. Come on, you fat cunt. Uh, who was it? Andrew Summers, I think it was. Uh, 54, Andrew, you should be fucking, you should be in bed. It's past your bedtime. Do you honestly reckon he'd go toe to toe with you? Uh, you know what? Again, why would you even respond to these fucking peanuts? They drive me insane. Fuck me. Go and try and fucking have a bit of fun with your kids or whatever, mate, instead of abusive fucking comments. Seriously. I bet, I bet she doesn't even have kids. He's 54. He'd be sitting at home by himself. He'd be one of those miserable cunts that can't have kids because they're just too much money and they're too much time and too much effort. They're not fun. And they'd fucking hate him anyway, I'm tipping. Hmm. All right, well, let's leave it on a positive note. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, anyway. All right, Dad, we'll, uh, we'll keep, being, keep being fucking miserable. <laughs> Congratulations, Andrew Summers. You've just won yourself a Pataki ham. <laughs> miserable can't believe in one night too. All right, guys, have a good week. It was a check in. Dylan, can you ring me tomorrow FaceTime with Bo, please? Yeah, I ring in the morning when he wakes up. Hopefully. Okay. All right, see you guys. See you later. Thank you. See ya. Bye.